Hello everyone, it's your girl Dominique. Hope everyone is having a great day. I'm here with a hair tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this style right here. This is the Butterfly Locks. This is crochet hair and three inches. I have 10, 12, and 14. It comes in a pack all together. I will show you guys that a little later, but if you guys want to see how I got this style, make sure you continue to watch. Also, I will have it linked down below where you can find this hair. All right, guys, so here is how I am looking. I already shampooed my hair. I detangled it, and then I went through it with the blow dryer just to get it straight a little bit it'll just make the process of braiding down my hair a lot easier i'm going to go ahead and oil my scalp just put a few drops of this product right here i put it throughout my scalp but i mainly focus on the areas where i need my hair to grow back and that's right here at my temples after having kids it like postpartum hair shedding was major for me Give me the real this time, no cat, no lies. It's our own boy. Bring it right back, right back to me, baby. I know my I want more. Give me the good this time, no cat, no lies. It's our own boy. After getting my two sections, I'm just gonna put this in a ponytail in the back. We'll work with this in a second. So with this first section right here I'm going to part it in half so I'm going to do a part down the middle y'all I have like a permanent part <laughs> down the middle so I really don't have to do too much but this section right here I'm going to part this section in half and then I part this section into you know in half make this into two boxes y'all low-key just want to do it the regular way <laughs> This just seems like a lot, but I wanted to try something different. You could do the rubber band method with this, but honestly, I don't like for my hair to be too tight. And with the rubber band, my hair be tight. And you don't have to do the braid too tight because you are going to be taking the crochet hair underneath. I'm going to take this plait and I'm going to connect it back. So that's all you need and you don't have to braid this all the way down because you're going to braid it going back you're going to connect it to the other braids going back i ran away from heartbreak got nothing in return for my pain i never thought i'd be so empty so alone and afraid Looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been Alright, so the front half is done. I ended up taking this one out and changed it to three. But as you can see, I have four, 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 three, and then two on the end. And now I'm just going to do five braids in the back. So here is my braid pattern. As you can see, I have my blocks in the front and then my braids in the back. I already know the parts are probably crooked. I'm not too concerned about how it looks. So now, the fun part. <laughs> Time to crochet the hair in. So of course you need a crochet needle. The hair that I'm using today, my first time using this hair is by Janet Collection. I'm always using the hair. But this is the Nyla Tress. And this is the three times butterfly locks. You got 10 inches, 12 inches, and 14 inches in this one pack. I have six packs of hair like this. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use all six packs. Sometimes I take this little end that's loose right here and sew it up. Or sometimes I just crochet this up into the hair. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's get started. 
one thing I can already say about this hair, the loop right here is super small. It's super small. Yeah, you gotta do a lot of tugging at the top to make the loop looser. I just wanna show you real quickly how to crochet one end. You wanna take your needle, go underneath the braid. In this case, we're just gonna do like one, two, three. And then you wanna take the loop, the loop, right there on the hook. Close the hook, pull it through. And with this hair so thick, you're not gonna be able to like pull the hair through under your braid. All right, as you can see, that took forever to get through the hole. And I can already tell that it's gonna take a long time to put these in for y'all. <laughs> I am back and it's a few days later and I have not finished my hair yet. Um, so I am getting ready to go ahead and just go in and fill in like little places where I have not yet to fill in. You'll never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same Let me show y'all my new technique that I figured out So what I do is I take my shears I put it through the loop like this And what I do is I hold it like this And I open the shears up Just like that That way it stretches the loop open and I'll have to do all of that extra pulling. It's a quick and easy way to open the loop up. Issues left behind me start. Nothing you say makes it better. And bring it right back, right back to me, baby. So I have these little beads that I got a while ago. And I think I have some of the gold like string. And I am getting ready to play around and put some of these beads in my hair. And I'm just randomly placing these in my hair. No particular way, order, shape, form, anything like that. I'm just really just placing them here. So here is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. I put it in a little ponytail so you guys could see like you could style it different ways. And like I said, I just randomly put the little clips in my hair. But overall, I was going back and forth like, do I like this hair? Do I not like it? And after, you know, finishing the hair look out and doing my makeup, I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling this. I absolutely I'm in love with it so yeah I'm gonna be rocking this and I feel like I need to put a few more gold clips in it this is the 3x three times butterfly locks it comes in 10 12 and 14 inches so if you guys are interested in this style I will have a link down below they have a variety of different um, crochet hair so if you're not interested in this they have more for you but make sure you guys click the link in the description box thank you guys so much for tuning into today's hair tutorial i will see you in my next video